What's up guys? It is possible for Terra Classic to get to $1. We're going to look at the math and I'll give you a detailed explanation on exactly how Terra Classic could get to $1 and how long that would take. So let's check it out. All right, so this shows us based on transaction volume, how many tokens we could burn per day, per month and per year. So first we got to figure out what kind of volume does Terra Classic have? So past 24 hours, 65 million. So, and that's that's been past few weeks we've been consistently around 50 million to 100 million, sometimes 200 million, sometimes up to 500 million, but usually around most days 50 to 100 million. So if we look at 100 million in volume per day, that would allow us to burn 5.2 trillion tokens in one year so almost the total supply in one year but you do have to realize so right now this I'm basing this math is on based on four zeros and an eight price which we're actually a little lower than that we're just under four zeros and a six so actually current at the current price we would be burning more tokens than this is showing but when I say so it looks like a hundred million in volume would burn five trillion in a year but you have to realize that as you burn tokens the price is going to increase and as the price increases it means you're going to be able to burn less tokens per transaction because obviously so you have 100 million in volume in one day okay that means 1.2 percent of that is going to be burned right so 1.2 million dollars is used to buy back tokens and then burn them but of course if the price goes up you can't buy as many tokens with that same amount of money because they cost more so as the price goes up the amount you're burning is going to go down so so it would actually take a bit longer than a year it might take a couple years at 100 million so at five at 50 million to 100 million in volume like we've had recently it would probably take a few years to burn the total supply maybe maybe even three years but that could be good because that could coincide nicely with the next bull market but of course as you're burning and the price is going up you're probably going to see people start FOMOing in and buying Terra Classic which would increase the volume and if you increase the volume then you're gonna burn more tokens so that could sort of combat the the rise in price for example if the price went up 10x but then the volume also 10x is from 100 million to 1 billion then that basically cancels out the price increase and you're still burning the same amount of tokens so but if you did just keep the same volume then the, the rate at which you're burning would go down as the price increases so hopefully hopefully I explained that clearly enough and that makes sense but but yeah, at the current recent volume, it would probably take a few years to burn up the entire supply and get to a dollar. But of course, if we see higher volumes, it could happen much faster. So how high is actually feasible? Can we can we achieve two billion, three billion in one day? Well, let's look at the history of Terra Classics volume. So before the crash, we were averaging pretty consistently like one to three billion in volume you can see the volume down here one to three billion in volume per day and then during the crash we actually got up to where is it right around here there was 15 billion yeah right here 15 billion in volume in one in one day during the crash but we're not gonna count that because that was during the crash of course volume could can get crazy but even a few days after the crash, we made it up to 8 billion in volume in one day. So that's pretty crazy. And then there was a few days of 2 to 3 billion. And then like a week later, yeah, like a week later, we got up to 2 billion again. So, But we did get up to 8 billion in volume after the crash in one day. So let's look at that. So I don't even have 8 billion on here. 3 billion you would burn. 400 billion in one day so that means 8 billion in volume you would burn about 1 trillion tokens in just one day so 
that is that's pretty crazy so uh, the potential for huge burns it's actually there because we've actually seen 8 billion in volume so potentially we could see a trillion tokens burned in one day huh. I mean that's that's pretty unlikely that super high volume but we have seen it so we know that's possible now of course <laughs> if you burn a trillion tokens the price is gonna go up and then like I said as the price goes up you're not gonna be able to burn quite as many tokens anymore so but still that's crazy so if we if we just stick with these more conservative numbers, 100 million to 50 million, it may take a few years to get to a dollar, but still, even if it takes a few years to get to a dollar, that's still amazing because that's like, uh, what, a 10,000 X <laughs> uh, return. Yeah, I believe it's like a 10,000 X. So, so, I mean, if it takes a few years to get a 10,000 X, I think I think we're going to be fine with that. Now, of course, if we have higher volumes, we can potentially get there faster, maybe even in less than a year. Who knows? Who knows what could happen if, if, we're, seeing, if we're seeing volume in the billions or even up to 8 billion, who knows how fast we could get there. But if we want to stay more realistic, it could take a few years, and that's probably a lot more realistic. So... What would that mean? It'd be a 10,000 X. So that means if you bought $59 of Terra Classic right now and we burn the whole supply and we get to a dollar, then you're a millionaire at that point just off of a $59 investment. So that is crazy. And that's why this community is staying so solid and people want to see these burns and why we're seeing Terra Classic not even the price isn't even dumping as hard as say Bitcoin and the rest of the market when we're seeing these dumps because people don't want to sell their tokens and miss out on this. Okay, so one more thing I need to add is, okay, so this 1.2% burn proposal, it will burn tokens until the supply is down to 10 billion tokens. So at the current market cap, if we got the supply down to 10 billion, we still wouldn't be at a dollar. What we would need to happen is we need the market cap to also get to a $10 billion market cap. If we have a $10 billion market cap and a $10 billion supply, then Terra Classic would be at a dollar. So, so we're gonna have to burn the whole supply. Could take a few years, possibly faster. It all depends on the volume. And then, and then we also need people to buy the token and get the market cap up to 10 billion. And I'm sure, once these burns start, there's going to be huge FOMO into this, and the market cap is going to definitely go up. $10 billion, it's pretty big, but definitely definitely reasonable. I mean, definitely possible, especially if, like, right now during a bear market, $10 billion is a really big market cap. But say this takes a, a couple years, like three years from now, we will probably be in a bull market again. And in a bull market, 10 billion is not that hard of a market cap to achieve. I mean, Dogecoin got up to like, I think 70 billion market cap at one point. So 10 billion, not that hard. So we burn the whole supply, get a 10 billion market cap. Terra Classic would be at $1. And even if, even if we just get to say a tenth of a cent, that's almost a 20x gain right there. And you could actually get to a tenth of a cent even before burning even starts. So you could possibly see a 20x gain even before burning starts because to get to a tenth of a cent, you would just need the market cap to get up to 6 billion. And say the, the burns get implemented and they're about to start and people start FOMOing in, I mean, there's going to be a FOMO buying of this. Now, I don't know if it probably won't be enough to get the market cap up to $6 billion and give a 20x. That'd be, that'd be a pretty crazy pump. It will prob probably won't be that drastic. There will be a nice pump, I'm sure, but I don't know about a 20x pump. So, But a tenth of a cent, that is 
that's easily doable with these burns, especially, I mean, even, it could even happen before burns even start. So, and that's like a 20x gain almost. So that's pretty crazy. And that could actually happen fairly, fairly soon. And the good part is, so as the price goes up, you're not able to burn as much, but if people sell and take profits, it's gonna bring the price back down, which will, once again, increase the amount of tokens burning, and then the price will go up again. So it's pretty sweet. And even, I mean, even if this takes a few years, like once the burning starts and the price goes up and the burning starts to slow down, like who really cares? You're already in profit at that point. And if it takes a few more years to burn it all and get to a dollar, who really cares? I mean, a 10,000 X in a few years, like I said, still insane. And also it makes this more of a, a long-term investment. So instead of it just being like this quick pump and dump scheme type thing, if it takes a few years, then, you know, there's a longer vision and it, it gives more time for projects to develop on Terra Classic for the ecosystem to develop and, establish more sustainable a more sustainable future even after the burning is done so but yeah so potentially could see a dollar in potentially less than a year but more realistically it would probably take a few years i would say if we're looking at more conservative volume of course it all depends on the volume more volume it will happen faster and I'm not saying that it's guaranteed to go to a dollar. It's definitely going to be a process. And we're going to have to be patient. I do think there's going to be more burns actually than just this 1.2% burn. So we like this is just like we're just doing the math with this 1.2% burn. There's actually more burns. So there's the 35% community pool burn. And then I'm sure there's going to be more burns coming along in the future too. So hey, maybe we'll see the supply burn even faster. Like Binance is holding almost half of the Terra Classic supply. If they decided to burn that for some reason, just to help Terra Classic out or whatever, bam, half the supply is gone right there. So you never, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so pretty crazy. Uh, there's tons of catalysts coming up in the future for Terra Classic. So... The price has gotten, let's see, yeah, on the four hour chart, super flat here. It's probably gonna go flat for a while. Flat, it's flattening out, volume's decreasing. Generally, a big move comes after that, so it's probably gonna flatten out for a while. Once these big news events hit, then we could see massive pumps in the price. So we'll see what happens. Let me know your guys' price predictions. Do you think a dollar is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna happen soon? A long time what's your price predictions how long but thanks for watching guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want more of these terry classic updates thanks so much you guys are amazing and i'll see y'all later